Today we take a detailed look at the Navigator Travel Backpack 32 litre. An all-rounder travel bag that has enough storage and organisation for a 3-5 to five day trip. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting that little bell. Let's dive in and check out the Nomadic Navigator Travel Backpack 32 litre. Nomadic is a US carry company that makes everyday bags, travel luggage. They've done a camera backpack collaboration with Peter McKinnon, but they are most known originally for their travel backpacks. And here we have the Nomadic Navigator 32 liter travel backpack. If you wanna check out the product page of this bag as we go through it in the video, there is a link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen for you to scan with your phone camera. And if you're a carry nerd and you'd like to stay up to date with all the new releases and updates in the carry world, we have a Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter that you can subscribe to where we talk about that news and where we also give away some gear to our subscribers every month. So if you'd like to get in on that, be sure to be subscribed to the channel and also to the newsletter. Before we get into the bag, the watch from today's video is the beautiful About Vintage 1926 at Sea timepiece. It has a really nice blue bezel as well as a blue sunray dial. And with every timepiece, you can pick two straps to come with it. If you're interested in checking out anything from About Vintage or any of the other products that you see in this video, check out the link in the description below. Okay, so taking a look at the materials, we have a Junior Ballistic Nylon, which is durable and water resistant. We also have water resistant zippers that appear to be Zoom zippers. And we also have a combination of YKK and metal hardware. As for branding, there are multiple branding elements located throughout the bag, but it's relatively subtle. Here at the top here, we just have an embossed Nomadic logo on this PU covering here at the top. We've also got the Nomadic Mountain logo embossed on the zipper pulls. And on both sides where the water bottle pockets are located, we have a little bit of Nomadic branding here as well. On the front face of the bag, you'll notice these bars here, which have reflective detailing to add visibility, especially at night for safety. Also on the front face, you'll notice these little Hyperlon loops on the side here. These are accessory loops that allow you to attach gear. The bag comes with these two accessory straps here, which you can use to fix gear on the front face of the bag. It utilizes custom metal hardware, and there is elastic webbing on each of the sides to allow you to adjust that strap slack so it's nice and tidy. So say for instance, you wanna lash on a down jacket on the front here. Here we have a Patagonia down sweater jacket. Just grab your accessory strap, loop the G-hook through that Hyperlon loop. So once you've hooked in those loops, you have gear affixed on the front face of the bag. And again, you can adjust these straps here to whatever gear you're affixing on the front. On both sides of the bag, we have a haul handle and a water bottle pocket. There's actually haul handles located on all sides of the bag, which make it really easy for taking the bag out of airplane cabins, taking it out of a car boot, or just lugging the bag around. The water bottle pocket is a gusseted water bottle pocket that when zipped down actually sits flush on the bag. So once we open it, we can accommodate for larger water bottles. Hopefully you can see here this elastic gusset here, this stretch webbing that allows it to expand out to fit bigger items inside. So here I have a 32 ounce vacuum insulated wide mouth water bottle from Mia. Mia have actually sponsored this video. They make a wide range of durable and functional drinkwares that will last a long time and also do a lot of good for the planet. This is actually an Earth Month special edition in collaboration with the Conservation Alliance, but Mia is also a certified B Corp, carbon neutral certified, and also partnered with 1% for the planet. So they do a lot of good stuff. And again, if you'd like to check out Mia or anything else that you see in this video, links are in the description below. But just for demonstration purposes, this pocket will easily eat that 32 ounce water bottle up. And you can see at the bottom here, that gusset has expanded to accommodate the space. So it's nice and snug. It won't slip out or anything like that. And when you're not using a water bottle, you can simply zip that up and it's nice and flush on the bag. On the base of the bag, we've got that padded hall handle. And on the other side, again, we've got the padded hall handle. At the top here, we have a foam padded hall handle because you'll probably be grabbing this bag from the top most times. So it's a nice foam padded handle here, very comfortable. Turning to the harness system of the bag, we have a relatively decked out harness system here. We have thick padded 
and contoured shoulder straps that will fit ergonomically on the body. The shoulder straps feature a heavily padded EVA foam here, so it's nice and comfortable. At the top here, we have YKK load lifters just to help distribute the load and give you a better fit along your shoulders. And you can also see in the middle, there is an adjustable and removable sternum strap. It uses a simple YKK buckle, and you can see six points of adjustment here so that you can properly align the sternum strap to where your sternum is on your body. And you can see further below, there are these reflective detailing bars here just to add better visibility at night. And then we've also got these metal ladder locks here to adjust the shoulder straps. At the bottom here, we have a padded and removable hip belt. It's attached on via Velcro. So if you don't have use for the hip belt, you can remove it, stow it away somewhere in the bag. But here you can see that reflective detailing again on the hip belt so you can have better visibility at night. And we've got a simple buckle here to release and attach the hip belt and then also some strap management back here. On the wings of the hip belt, we have that same foam padding, so it's gonna be nice and comfortable around your waist when you wear it. But as mentioned, if you don't have a use for it, you could detach it from the bag, or you can actually just simply tuck it away underneath the back panel. At the back panel, you can see we have a custom molded padding here, and there's also air channeling designed on the back panel for better breathability, better airflow, so you don't have as much of a sweaty back as possible. The back panel actually has two aluminium frames here to add rigidity and flexibility on your back while you're moving around. And then in the middle here, we have a little luggage pass-through when you want to streamline your carry with rolling luggage. And as you can see, there are some branding elements from Nomadic here, Life on the Move, and again, that nomadic branding at the top here. Just at the top of the back panel here, we have a little loop, which is for hanging the bag off any hooks. So if this is for a toilet door or wherever you're staying, you can simply hang the bag off any hooks. Okay, so let's start taking a look at some of the compartments inside the bag. On this front face here, we've actually got a relatively discreet compartment just on the side here, side zippered compartment. And here, this is just a good place for storing very small little bits and pieces. So hopefully you can see there are two mesh pockets there. I've just got hand sanitizer in one and the other, I don't have anything inside there. And then just on top of that, there is another zippered compartment here, which is good for storing other bits and pieces. So I've just got a small little torch from Nightcore. This is the Tiny 2 flashlight. This is just a good place to store snacks, mints, any other small bits and pieces that you just want quick access to on the side. Now, just at the end of the zipper path there, there is a little loop that you can pull out of that compartment. This is a little loop for you to protect the compartment from any thieves or pickpocketers. So if you close up the zipper here and grab the little zipper pull, feed that through that little loop there, you can actually add a little bit of protection for that zipper. So thieves and pickpocketers won't be able to open up this compartment as easy with that little loop there protecting the zipper path. We're gonna move on to our next compartment which allows us to organize some other small bits and pieces of our travel carry. This compartment actually opens up quite a fair bit and you can fold this front face down here. And here we have a number of different zippered compartments, stretchy mesh pockets for you to organize those small bits and pieces. So just inside that space, I've just got a Patagonia cap. We've got two big mesh pockets here. On one side, I've got a nimble battery charger that's actually made of recycled CDs, which is really cool. And as always, I've got my Nomad Kevlar charging cable. On the other side, I've got a pair of polarized sunglasses from Sunski, and then my truly wireless Bluetooth earphones from Master and Dynamic. At the bottom here, we have a big stretchy compartment, which is good for storing a set of headphones. So this is a pair of headphones from Mies Audio. And then just at the bottom, bottom there I've actually packed inside a Patagonia torrent shell rain jacket. Now on this end we have an RFID safe pocket which is lined with RFID protection so you could put your wallet in there or your passport in there. I've put in my Bellroy travel folio and then we've got two pen slots on the side here so in one of them I've just got an Everyman Grafton pen mini and then we have another zippered compartment here which I've just stored my Oz Air face mask. Now this front organization compartment actually has a decent amount of space and organization. Hopefully you can see the gusseting on the sides here, which just allow this compartment to open up much bigger and store a whole bunch of travel gear inside here. So if you were carrying a slim tech pouch, you could also store that inside here if you really wanted to. Okay, now as we look into the main compartment of the bag, we have a clamshell opening that allows us to look inside the whole entire compartment. And so here I've stored in some travel gear. I've got a large Peak Design packing cube for all of my clothes. 
I've got a Peak Design wash pouch for toiletries, and then I've got a pair of Lems Trailhead sneakers. Now inside this main compartment, it's fairly simple. We've got two zippered compartments on the side here that allow you to store smaller bits and pieces. So I've just got a small travel canister from Matador for some medicine. And then here I've just stored inside a little loom cube light. In the middle here, we have a compression strap that you can use to hook on to store clothes and just to make sure everything is set in this place so it doesn't all fall to the bottom of the bag. This is particularly useful if you're not using packing cubes and you're storing a whole bunch of clothes in there. You can use this compression strap just to make sure that all your gear is nice and secure inside this main compartment. Over on the other side, we have two simple stretch mesh pockets here that are zippered. Inside there, I've just stored a little A5 workbook in one of them and the other one I've kept empty. You could use this compartment to store cables or any other important bits and pieces that are part of your carry that you wanna keep separated from the main area. Aside from being a travel backpack, people have used this bag to carry camera gear as well. So you could have some travel gear, some camera gear, maybe other camera equipment in these pockets, filters, things like that. It's totally up to you. With the zippers here, Nomadic have designed what they call tamper resistant zippers. So here you can see the zipper pulls and there's a little cord loop there. If you actually grab one zipper pull, feed it through that cord loop, put them together, you actually have them combined so that they aren't moving separately and actually are moving together, which makes it just a little bit more difficult for thieves and pickpocketers to get inside your bag. We have that same zipper for the main compartment as well as that front organization compartment. The next compartment, we have a small zippered compartment here. It's a fleece lined compartment, so you can store inside a mobile phone or maybe portable earphones, anything that you want quick access to, but you also want protected from any scratches. And then finally on the side here, we have our laptop compartment it's accessible only via the side and we've got that same little security loop here just to keep that zipper in place and so once you pull that zipper pull out of that loop there you can open up this laptop compartment and here we have a padded and suspended laptop compartment that can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. Okay, now just to give you a sense of the size of the main compartment here, we're gonna conduct our rush faster beer capacity test to see how many tinny six packs can fit inside the main compartment. Okay, so that's all four of my tinny six packs filling up that main compartment, but you can see there's plenty of space at the top here, probably for another tinny six pack. So I'd say that you could fit five tinny six packs inside this main compartment. But a really great feature of this travel backpack is that at its 32 liter capacity, you can fit a lot inside, but if you need extra space inside this main area, you actually have an expansion and compression zipper here that will add an additional nine liters of storage capacity. So once you open up that expansion zipper, you have additional space to store more tinny six packs. So by opening that expansion zipper, we have nine liters of extra storage capacity and you can probably fit another four sets of tinny six packs in there. So this is particularly helpful if you go traveling, you bring all your gear and then you have to bring some extra gear home. You can open up this expansion zipper, fit all that in and you don't have any problems. Okay, so this is the Navigator 32 liter backpack on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well everyone, that is the Navigator Travel Backpack from Nomadic. It has a generous 32 liter storage capacity that can be expanded to 41 liters and it has plenty of space for all those other smaller accessories and a big cavernous main compartment for all your travel gear. Not to mention it's made with durable materials and comes with a really comfortable harness system. If you like this video, you found it helpful and you're thinking about getting this bag or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below and using any of those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And as always, if you'd like to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. But we'd love to hear your thoughts about this bag. What do you think about it compared to all the other travel backpacks in the market? What do you think about the price point? Let let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to see any other videos on travel backpacks, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Nomadic Navigator Travel Backpack 32 liter. Take care and we'll see you next time.